Hey everybody, welcome to a new video. So I always get asked by people what they should upgrade, what they should do on sales, and I thought I would finally make a video on what you guys should be focusing on. Now I've already made a video like this, but this is just more so in general, not for sales, what you should do in general. But let's get straight into what I think you guys should be focusing on, what you should be doing with your crystals, with your tank coins. Now of course for tank coins, you're gonna wanna save for the tanky fund events, right? because tanky fun comes around two to three times a year so you really don't have to wait all that long but you buy into the tanky fun usually a thousand tank coins and then boom you you get about twenty thousand tank coins worth of rewards thirty thousand even now of course you can buy these bundles for twenty five hundred or for two thousand but in my opinion they're just not really worth it maybe this one is for the event two thousand but then you have to buy the event pass it's gonna cost you 2700 to even do anything, but I wouldn't say that one's really all that worth it. But yeah, definitely save your tank coins for tanky funds if you don't have a lot. And if you're buying, of course, you wanna buy the tanky daily tank coins pass. This is definitely worth the money. If you're gonna get anything in tanky, if you're gonna spend any money, only ever get this. Buying actual tank coins is just the biggest ripoff ever. They value tank coins at way too much money in my opinion, but that's for a different day. Hashtag decrease shop prices, baby. All right, so what should you spend your crystals on? Now the biggest thing you want to focus on is one hole, one turret, three protections, and one drone. Now I know that's what everyone says, but firstly, if you don't have a lot of crystals, just get Brutus. It's very cheap. You're not going to be wasting all your crystals on a drone. But my go-to drones are Booster and Trickster. If you like speed, you like playing with a light hole, capping the flag, go for Trickster. If you like camping, maybe getting using Shaft, using Magnum, I'd go Booster because that extra 20% damage is really helpful. But all these other drones are getting removed for hole augments. Maybe Defender if you want Defender, but I'm not a huge fan of Defender just because I'd rather have that increased damage for that small amount of time, but it's it's up to you. Now protections, just focus on what you're mainly seeing in battles. Like you're probably seeing a lot of hammers, you're probably seeing a lot of Teslas, you're probably not going to see many Acetas, you're probably not going to see many Freezes, you're going to see a lot of Firebirds right now, you're probably not going to see a lot of Smoky players, you're probably not going to see a lot of Vulcan players either, you probably want to focus on your Thunder on your scorpion. I wouldn't really focus on mine protection because at the end of the day, mines don't do that much damage. And even if they do, it's going to be critical damage. So having protection is not going to be that helpful. If you enjoy long range maps, definitely go for shaft protection. If you like short range maps and you leave long range maps, you don't really need to focus on shaft or anything. Gauss is really annoying. But yeah, let's just really quickly go through what I think you should be focused, what protections you should be focusing on first. Uh, if you're a long range player, shaft, owl in general, gauss protection is good. Magnum protection is good because Magnum is a crazy ton of damage. Railgun is a good protection to focus on. Scorpion is. Thunder is. I wouldn't really think about Vulcan that much. Striker, not enough people use it where I think it's going to be that big of a deal. Smokey, not really. Ricochet, definitely, except not that many people use it recently just because they nerfed Helios to the ground. Twins, definitely, because Pulsar Twins is really broken. Hammer, of course, you're going to want to focus on. Tesla, you want to focus on. Acida, you don't really need to focus on. Freeze, you don't really need to focus on either because people are just going to be using Firebird most of the time. Definitely focus on Firebird here. And then Armadillo, if you have it, just do one upgrade every once in a while. Supplies, you, got, I, you can kind of buy these, but if you're not playing a ton ton, you're going to be fine on supplies. I'm gonna be honest. Now for holes, the main holes I would focus on are either medium holes or heavy holes, because right now light holes are, they're not that good. I'm gonna be honest, they don't have enough health. In the current matchmaking, you die really fast. So just forget about light holes unless you just wanna cap flags and die. My go-to medium holes are Viking or Paladin. Paladin, because you get that self-healing with the overdrive, except it's not nearly as good anymore. And then Viking, just because it's OG, looks the best has a decent overall overdrive, stuff like that. Dictator is also decent, but I'd focus on Viking first uh, rather than Dictator. And then for heavy holes, the only heavy hole you want to focus on is Ares, of course, because Ares is stupid broken. If you're going to max out a hole, I would suggest Ares, Viking, or Paladin. Now, the main thing I tell people is level up a combo that you enjoy first, right? If you enjoy Hopper and Ricochet, level that up first. If you enjoy crappy... Titan and Shaft, get that first. You know, you don't have to listen to me. I'm just saying, these are what I would recommend upgrading. And then the best turrets currently are Firebird, Hammer, Twins. Of course, these are with the broken augments. If you have meh augments, I'd probably say go for Firebird, Tesla, Scorpion's really good, Magnum's really good. I'd say if you don't have a ton of really good augments, 
I'd go for Magnum, Scorpion, Tesla, or Firebird. Those would be my go-tos, but like I said, you can level up really whatever you want. But yeah, the goal of this video is just to show you guys what the best options are for leveling first, what you should spend your crystals on first, and you know, wait for sales, obviously. But yeah, I just wanted to make this uh, PSA type video to let you guys know, because April Fools is coming up, usually big sales, then a lot of people plan. I'm excited for it, man, I'm excited for it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in a future video. Peace out.